Hurricane Milton is rapidly intensifying as a Category 4 storm with winds at 150 miles per hour and growing. However, depending on the strength of the wind shear from the north, Milton is expected to weaken as it approaches the Florida West Coast, according to the National Hurricane Center. Hello everyone, I'm Andy Hodges for Sebastian Daily. I have been reporting on hurricanes for the past 40 years, and I have never seen a storm that is most intense like this one in the Gulf of Mexico. This is going to be a dangerous storm. Now, in Sebastian, things are a little different. For my hurricane coverage, I always rely on the expertise of the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service. According to their latest reports for Sebastian, we can expect winds of 25 to 35 miles per hour on Wednesday and Thursday with potential gusts of 58 to 73 miles per hour as the storm passes north of us near Titusville, which is about 70 miles away from Sebastian. There is a slight risk of tornadoes in our area. While the eye may not pass over us, we can still expect severe weather. Now, the forecast can always change, but right now, this is the latest forecast as of Monday morning. We are in the cone of uncertainty. The current track puts it north of us as a Category 1 hurricane, again, about 70 miles north of us. Now, people have contacted us if they should put up their storm shutters or not. We cannot provide that advice. You have to call your insurance company. But if we're going to get wind gusts of 58 to 73 miles per hour, it's probably a good idea. Any loose debris can be picked up by these winds and they could break windows. So it doesn't hurt to put them up. Now let me show you the current weather models that everyone's been talking about. First, here is the Euro model, which puts Milton just north of Tampa before moving to the northeast and out back to sea. Now here's the GFS model which shows landfall farther north of the Euro model, heading northeast and back out to sea. Both of these models have been consistent with a similar track. Now, to minimize property damage, residents should bring in and securely fasten outdoor items such as toys, sports equipment, and lawn furniture. Make these preparations no later than Tuesday night. After that, the winds may be too strong. That means put shutters up no later than tomorrow. Use Monday and Tuesday for your preparations. It's also crucial not to trim trees or bushes at this time. Debris from such activities can clog stormwater drains and increase the risk of flooding. Now that's my forecast for now. I'll keep these updates coming. Stay tuned to Sebastian Bailey for continued updates on our local area. We're also on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for watching.